But I didn't. I would not call myself a skater. But I appreciated the culture, and I appreciated the, um, you know, the, you know, the moves you can do on skates, stuff like that. I always, I always love people that can do like you know, backward skating and dance moves and things like that. But didn't really, didn't really. No, I skated, but not, 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 not very well. So that's my favorite movie. Okay. What is your favorite movie that you write? Oh gosh, that that'd be like saying who's your favorite child. Top three. Who's top three? Um, I feel like every movie, uh, you know, has been a journey. Um, I think maybe you know, in terms of like what I feel like I accomplished, um, in a, a really kind of complete way. Probably the first best man, best man holiday, and um, I think girl trip was in that category as well. You know, uh, I think I think all those movies um, have done what I've been wanting to do with movies is with, with predominantly African American cast, which is um, be successful on, in their own right and, and reach their core audience, but but go uh, beyond that and, and help to actually. Um, change the industry, uh, change the perception of so-called African-American movies and television and content to be just for, for black people. Yes, it's a core audience, but it's a universal theme, universal stories. So, um, you know, for me, I think those are probably the ones where I've, I've achieved the most. I mean, and like I said, I, I, I'm proud of mostly all of my movies, but, <laughs> but, but not all of them. Okay. Well, that leads me to my next question. I was going to ask you what well, I think it's more than just black directors. I think it's um, you know black directors are you know you're you're responsible for the vision of the movie. You're responsible for you know, casting and how they're directed and tone and so I think it's very important you know for black directors to get that opportunity to show their you know their skill um, and their um, you know their craft. Um, but I think we need just more than just you know directors. Um, I think that you know, there's not enough producers, there's not enough writers, um, there's not enough technicians, you know, behind the scenes in um, both uh, on set as well as in post production. There's a real lack of um, post production sound people, for instance, that are black. That I think people can't just think, oh, you know, I want to direct. And because not everybody's going to get to do that, you know. I think that that's, I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but there are many jobs in this industry um, that contribute to filmmaking process. So I think directors are, are, are a huge part. Writers, obviously, like I, as I said, producers, editors, sound designers. Um, I, these are all very important um, uh, positions, and people need to realize that there's a you, you, and we've all seen the credits on movies, right? There's so many visual effects supervisors. We need everybody to permeate every aspect of, of, of the film industry as black people. So directors are important, yes, but we need more. Well, here at Howard University, we have a lot of different majors geared towards that within the School of Communication. Like we have an audio production major. Um, we have TV production, broadcast journalism. We have all of that. So what is some advice that you would give to students who are looking to go into this huge industry that is not super diverse? Or what's some advice that has been given to you? I, I would say that the mo most of the time, is, mo the, the biggest thing I would say is that you have to have perseverance. You have to, you have to study your craft. You have to really know it really well. You have to keep practicing. You have to keep at it. You have to persevere. You're going to have to, when you get an opportunity, be able to perform. Um, it is also a relationship industry. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an industry built on relationships and hands, not say handshakes, but at least, you know, knowing that you this is a person that we want to work with, um, you know, that doesn't mean kissing anybody's behind, but you, that you have to be able to work with others, work well with others. Um, so I feel like, you know, when you, so be prepared. Be, be ready to, you know, when, 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 your, when your number is called. Prior to that, you know, like, really build your craft and be able to work well with others. And perseverance, because you're going to hear no 
way more than you're gonna hear yes. Did you have any mentors throughout your career? Several, you know, I've had several mentors, you know. Um, I would say that Spike has, you know, been the, um, the first and he continues to be a mentor to me. Um, there's a lot of people in the industry, you know, the, every, you know, producer, executive um, I've worked with it has helped me, helped answer questions I might have and helped me along in my career in some way or another. Because you just need people that have been there before to ask questions. I don't know why no one's really coming to mind besides Spike, but you know, if the, the, there's there are plenty. You know, Stan Lathan, for example, is, is, is somebody that um, you know I, I've, I've spoken to and, and uh, gained, gained insight from. Um, you know, different actors. You know, Bill Duke. Um, uh, and these are like I call on a regular basis, but you know, these are people that like from time to time giving me you know advice. And I also rely on the people who have been been in the industry a while, a long time, and also the people that that I came in, in, into the industry with at the same time, like Gina Prince by the first. Like we're we're really good friends, and you know we we um, uh, look each other's scripts beforehand and, and collab not necessarily collaborate, but but you know does this work? Is this a good script? You know what do you, what do you think we should do to you know to change it? And I've got a number of people like that, you know, that uh, help me um, figure out. The storytelling um, aspect of what I'm doing, and there's other people that teach you, the, you know, the, the business. So I know you mentioned Spike Lee um, that you all have a familiar relationship, but what I want to know is what really made you want to get into the film industry? Because of course, he had a huge influence in your life, but what was the real reason or moment when you said, you know what, I want to do a direct, I want to get directed professional? You know. I think it was a culmination of, of a lot of things. I had, I had had a genuine interest in fine performing arts. I mean, I used to I used to act, you know, um, and, and, and you know, as early as you know, three and four years old, and you know, throughout junior high school and high school, I would do plays. Um, I got exposed to video making and animation at a very early age. I went to a prep school that that um, exposed me to that to that kind of uh, uh, art and. I used to draw all the time, play with action figures, and I used to write also. You know, uh, so it was a it, it was a, it was a culmination. Film was a culmination of, of a lot of interest that I had, um, and you know the fact that my cousin, somebody in my family, could be doing this as a living, was a revelation. You know, it was early, early on when he was in film school that I was like, oh, you're actually going to make movies for the theater, and he was like, yeah, I, you know. I, didn't, it, I couldn't conceive of it, um, and even even you know his first few movies, you know, I was like, well, maybe. And by, by the time I was 19, I, I thought I wanted to, to be a filmmaker. But I, honestly, I feel like it was you know, when I first saw Boys in the Hood that I felt like I could tell a story that was personal to me. Um, you know, prior to that, you know, a lot of a lot of movies. And even though, you know, Boys in the Hood was kind of like, you know, it was very like, you know, that wasn't dark, but it was a coming of age story in the hood. And, you know, it was very different from my experience, but I felt a kinship to it because it was personal. And a lot of the movies that, you know, depicted black people were one dimensional, um, in my opinion. And so, you know, I would say it was, that was a huge inspiration as was um, Love Jones. Those are both those movies. I mean, there and there were movies, you know, many of Spike movies as well. But those two of those cultural touchstones for me, that was like, okay, I can tell the story I want to tell. So speaking of stories that you want to tell, what is one, I guess, subject or one type of movie that you have not yet had the opportunity to film or direct in your career that you would like to? You know, there's, there's a number of them. You know, I, I, I'm sure there's a biopic out there with my name on it. You know, um, there's a sports movie, um, you know, historical drama. You know, I, I have not gotten the chance to like flex those muscles, but I want to do that. You know, I love comedy um, uh, and you know romantic comedies, but you know, I, I'd like to um, start branching out in a different direction. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.
keep her watching.